Hello and welcome. In today's tutorial, we have an interesting exponential equation. To solve this exponential equation, let us start from the right hand side. Let us express this radical as an exponent. Now, of course, we know that when we have the nth root of a, that this is equal to a to the power 1 over n. So this can be written as x to the power x to the power 1 over 2. And on the left hand side, we have x to the power square root of x. And of course, you know that when we have two exponents like this, what we do is to multiply the two of them. So this is equal to x to the power x times half is x over 2. Here we still have x to the power square root of x. Now, at this point, we take log of both sides of the equation. When we do that, we have log x to the power square root of x is equal to log x to the power x over 2. Let us recall the power rule of logarithms. That is that rule that says that when we have log of m to the power n, that this is the same as n multiplied by log of of m. So here we have square root of x multiplied by log x is equal to x over 2 multiplied by log x. Let us bring everything over to the left hand side. When we do that, we have square root of x times log x minus x over 2 times log x is equal to 0. Now we can factorize log x out of this equation. When we do that, we have log x multiplied by square root of x minus x over 2 is equal to 0. When we have a product like this being equal to 0, it simply means that either log x is equal to 0 or square root of x minus x over 2 is equal to 0. Now, in the first case, we have that log x is equal to 0. And of course, from here, we have that x is equal to 1 because logarithm of 1 is zero. In the second case, we have square root of x minus x over 2 is equal to zero. From here, we have that the square root of x is equal to x over 2. When we multiply both sides of this equation by 2, we have that 2 times the square root of x is equal to x. And when we divide both sides of this equation by the square root of x, we have that 2 is equal to x over square root of x. But we know that x is equal to square root of x multiplied by square root of x. And this is square root of x. So this takes care of that. And from here, we have that 2 is equal to the square root of x. Next, what we are going to do is to square both sides of this equation. And when we do that, we have that 4 is equal to x. So we have that the two values of x that satisfy this equation are x equal to 1 or x equal to 4. Now let's check our answer. We have 4 to the power square root of 4 is equal to square root of 4 to the power 4. Square root of 4 is 2. So this is 4 squared is equal to square root of 4 to the power 4 is 256. 4 squared is 16 and square root of 256 is 16. So the answer is right. And obviously, 1 also satisfies the equation. 
And with that, we come to the end of today's exercise. Remember to subscribe if you enjoy such content. Leave us a thumbs up to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.